All right, I'm going to work on his hat right now. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out whether I want to have it on his head or uh, flying off his head. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. All right, I took a measure of his head, and I also took a measure for the brim of the hat. What I'm making is a Stetson uh, hat from the 1870s. And if this guy is like anybody else I've known with owns a cowboy hat like myself, um, I've got a hat that I've owned since the 1980s, so just because it's from the 1870s doesn't mean it couldn't be worn in the 1900s or 1890s. This particular brand of hat, hmm, that don't look right. Might have to do that again. This particular brand of hat was called the Boss of the Plains. And it was a style that uh, was worn in the 1870s, or became popular in the 1870s. I put the uh, hat on the end of a wooden dowel so I can see what I'm working on. I've got cowboy friends who, when they get a hat, a new hat, they pretty well break it in pretty fast. And uh, I could tell who the guy was from behind just by the shape of his hat. The... Uh, the hats would take on the personality of the cowboy. I have a friend who now lives in Texas who used to have a uh, shop here in town that sold old cowboy stuff and hats and things like that. And she kept on wanting to get my hat because it had this personality in it. <laughs> I seldom wear my cowboy hat. I've got one, an original Stetson from the 1800s, of early 1900s. And I just, barely, I never, I seldom wear it. All right, I've decided I'm going to put it on his head. But it's going to be getting ready to fly off his head. Now, 
I got some work to do on that hat. I got a lot of work to do on that hat. I've got to match the uh, crown to the size of his head. Can't have it cutting into the head. I think that's gonna look better. Yeah, that actually complements the face now. Okay, I'm doing the uh, final part of the uh, scarf, and in doing so, I'm also filling in underneath the uh, back of the hat where it comes down close to the body. I don't want to have a lot of room there. It'll make it easier to cast it. Okay, let's see how that looks. Looks good from every angle. I still have the uh, facial, facial features shown because of the angle of the hat. The old cowboy hats were high in beaver count and uh, they tended to be soft. My uh, old hat, Stetson, you could literally roll it up and put it in your bag. Anyway, I'm going to put a slight indent for the uh, since I can find the right tool to do it with, he would have a hat band. And I'm just going to indicate a hat band.
what I'm doing is just putting some slight dents in this hat from use. I don't want to continue working on his coat. Alright, I'm liking the, the way the sleeves turned out. I have the hands to do, but I'm going to do finish up the saddle and the, uh, the shafts next time. And uh, do the saddle bags and all that stuff. So I'll do that next time and uh, I'll see you then. Good night everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.